Hi, I'm Kate Zaremba, and I'd like to show you how to hang my smooth, removable wallpaper. In this video, we'll cover all the basics, including how to wet the paper, how to place it and smooth it on the wall, how to hang around windows and doors, how to accommodate for light switches, and trimming. First, you'll need to gather the right supplies. Paper and pencil, a tape measure, scissors, a soft cloth or sponge, an X-Acto knife with extra blades, and a drop cloth. You will also want to get a wallpaper tub from your local hardware store, or you can simply use your bathtub for wetting the paper. When measuring your space to order your wallpaper, take down the height and width of each wall. To ensure the pattern matches up from left to right, do not subtract for the windows and doors. I like to roughly sketch each wall, then mark these measurements down. This drawing will come in handy when you are hanging your wallpaper. Once you've got your measurements, head over to the wallpaper calculator on my website and figure out how much wallpaper you need to buy. You can choose 9 foot, 12 foot, or commercial grade lengths. Now it's time to get started. Place your first roll into the tub of water. Take the ends with both hands on either side, slowly pulling the paper up and out of the tub. Next, when you are roughly halfway through the roll, fold the first end onto itself. Continue to pull the rest of the paper out of the water slowly. Lay it down on a flat surface and fold the other half onto itself as well. Check that the entire backing has been wetted. Add a splash of water if you see an area that is dry. Keep the panel folded up while you set up your ladder. When you're ready, take the panel up the ladder. Unfold the top half and place it onto the wall. Take it up an inch above the ceiling line, making space for minor changes in wall height along the way. Use a damp cloth or sponge to begin smoothing. Press the paper into the crease between the wall and the ceiling and keep smoothing gently. When you are ready, come down and release the bottom half. Continue smoothing downward and outward. You want to try and smooth as many of the bubbles as possible, doing so softly. Now you're ready for the next roll. This time, you will be matching it up on the wall with the pattern. There is a 3 fourths inch overlap to help with this process. Here you can see I am continuing the panel onto the next wall. At the corners, take your scissors and make a diagonal cut into the corner. This helps the wallpaper lay flat. Press into the creases. Now we have a window. I am measuring to trim to accommodate for a long skinny window making sure to adjust for the 3 4 inch overlap in the paper. Marking with a pencil, I am leaving 1 to 2 inches on the inside of the measurements for safety. You will do all of this pre-trimming before you wet the paper. Place it on the wall just as you have done before. When you get to the window, take your scissors and make a diagonal cut into the corner so that the paper can lay flat around the window frame. In this space, we immediately have a door so I measured and pre-trimmed the next panel as well. Now we have a light switch. Remove the cover plate and switch off the power. Have your X-Acto knife and scissors ready. Once you get to the light switches, find where they fall on the paper and make a little cut with your X-Acto knife. Use your scissors to cut out an opening. You just need it to be big enough for the holes to show where you will screw the cover plate back on. I usually freehand the trimming, but I recommend using a metal ruler or straight edge to use as a guide for your X-Acto knife for a perfectly straight cut. Replace the blades often as you go along. They dull quite easily during this process. And there you have it. If you have any questions, comment below, or you can check out my FAQ page on my website, katesaremba.com. Thanks for hanging some wallpaper with me.